Hey everybody, welcome back to 100% Max. So this is match preview for Chelsea vs Newcastle. This coming Saturday at Stamford Bridge down in London. And you, you know this game is going to be one of them games where we just want to get it over with. You know, especially with the replay at Ewood Park against Blackburn right after this. And then the most important game of the season against Cardiff where we must pick up a three points in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, this game on Saturday, like I say, it's going to be one of them games where we just want to get it over with. And I don't expect much going into this game against Chelsea. You, you know, the reason being in that is that Maurizio Sarni's side have won six and drew four of their last 11 Premier League home games at the bridge uh, this season, with Leicester being the only exception to come away with maximum points in a 1-0 win there last month. And, you know, the last six times we have lost at the bridge as well with the most recent win coming back in the 11-12 season uh, when Papi CC scored in a 2-0 win. You know, he scored both goals in that game. And that was our most recent win. And that was back in the 11-12 season. You know, so that's a long time ago now. And obviously, you know, I'd like to see Rafa just go into this game, not play too defensively because... We don't want to be having uh, the pressure on what all match, but not to play too attacking neither. You know, go into it with a balanced mindset. Uh, you know, we want to at least come away from this game with possibly a draw if we can. If we can do it even better, you know, possibly the win. But I can't see the win happening, to be honest. You know, I think, to be honest, it's probably going to be at most a point out of this game you know which i would take that right now if it was off our tourists on a plate i would take it right now that point and you know obviously with we're not having Kei sung young or yashimutu as they're both away with their respective nations playing in the asian cup as well it makes uh this match even that more difficult you know in florin Lesh one as well should be in contention for his first premier league game after his comeback in the fa cup against Blackburn, uh, which, you know, of course I was it. Uh, and to be honest, you know, Florin one looked pretty good in the match. He didn't look like uh, he was lacking match fitness. So I think, to be honest, Rafa may actually go first team for him, you know, give him a starting uh, game. But then again, he might think about... The fact that we've got to play in the FA Cup after this game and then also the game against Cardiff. So he might then also think like, you know, we can put Florian Lejuan onto the bench instead and go with Fabian Shaw and Jamal Lascelles in the centre-back roles instead. Uh, and then, of course, we've got John Joe Shelby uh, that is going to be a doubt heading into this game because he's picked up a thigh issue. Uh, so, you know, that's a loss in my opinion because we don't have Kei Sung Young there. So we need that player in the midfield that can bang the balls right, left and centre. You know, get them into the service for the striker. Exactly like Solomon Rondon likes them. And without John Joe Shelby there to do that, you know, and with Kei Sung Young being away uh, on international duty, we don't have that player there to do that. So that's going to be a loss, I think, on Saturday. Uh, when we take them on at theirs. But we're not going to be having Kennedy neither for the game. Because obviously he's on loan from Chelsea. So he will be ineligible to play in this game. Uh, or at least he should be anyway. Uh, but to be honest. You know I think it's going to be one of them games. Where we just need to go into it with a mindset that. We can at least pick up a draw. Uh, and. Hopefully, you know, if Chelsea are playing really bad, then we can pick up the three points and that would be the absolute best scenario. Uh, but I can't see that happening, to be honest. You know, I can only say we're coming away with at least a point. Uh, Cesc Fabregas as well has probably played in his last season with Chelsea, uh, you know, with his contract running out and he's in negotiations as well to leave uh, the Blues as well. And... To be honest, you know, I'd love to see a player like Cesc Fabregas come and join Newcastle. I'm sure with a player of that ability, you know, his experience in the dressing room would be amazing for all of the uh, players, you know, to share his experience when he's played at Arsenal at the top level. 
you know, in Champions League football. He's played at Barcelona with Lionel Messi, Neymar, Xavi, Iniesta, you know. He can share that experience and I would love to see that kind of player come and join Newcastle. Obviously, I think, to be honest, you know, his wage demands might put that is a downer, you know, in the fact that we we'll probably won't be able to pay the wages that he would be asking for. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, who knows, we might be able to get him. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't know if we would be able to or not. Uh, also, Willian and Callum hudson Odi are doubtful for the game. Now, Willian is a good one in my opinion, you know, uh, him being doubtful for the game is really good uh, because, you know, he's paced down the wing, absolutely kills every time we play them. He loves to get them balls into the box on the wings, you know, crossing it in early or cutting inside and getting a shot off himself. And it is absolutely annoying as hell to play against him. And, you know, if he's not playing on Saturday, then that just even up with chances that much more to come away with at least a point uh, but let us know what you think down in the comments below let us know your score predictions down in the comments below remember to follow the sponsor fanvibe.com down in the description below if you use the link i get a small kickback until next time however the lads